All right, all right, y'all. Today we're gonna be going over our how the game works. And before you begin video, um, just want to do a little brief intro and give some background so you know what you're getting into. Um, so most players are gonna start in a new world, maybe not the newest world, um, unless you get lucky. Like your world's probably gonna be already going maybe a day two days maybe a week into creation um there's going to be people that spend money in these worlds so they're going to be shooting along like level 19 and have their tier 7 cannons already um if you're not spending money this will take you like a week to get to so you're going to be way behind so i do recommend joining a new new world um or you can join an older world, uh, play through the first, you know, 15 levels, get some kinks out, see how it all works, and then, you know, get a bad battle in or something, and then go start a new world. Um, so yeah, there's going to be these power players, though, and they're just something that you have to deal with. Um, some of them just sit in the shadows, don't really do much, uh, they just kind of grow, and some of them just go terrorize the entire world because they can. Um, it's better to join them than fight them. Um, hopefully you can get in their alliance or get into a, one that's good at defending with some active people. Uh, otherwise, if somebody's just ruining the world, I would say go join a new one. Um, eventually... After you make your new account, you're going to get kind of going in the world, you'll be gaining levels, uh, you're going to have to join an alliance, your alliance will be building flags, taking over territory, getting into wars, hopefully not too many wars so you can grow, but uh, there are some politics in this game, and once you get to your first city battles, uh, that'll start to flesh out. Yeah, hopefully your world has some strong leaders and they talk some stuff out, but uh, there's all sorts of kinds of players in this game. Um, you'll have the fighters who've been playing this game for a long time and all the advanced strategies, and it's probably best to leave them alone. Um, you'll get people that want to micromanage the alliance and uh, be a manager, you'll get people that want to run all their farm accounts and just farm all day and chit chat in the chat. Um, you'll get people that just start new worlds um, just to have fun, wreck some things, um, people that don't spend any money and are completely happy doing it, people that spend a ton of money and don't even play that much. Um, you'll get uh, people that spend a lot of money and do play a lot and hopefully they don't become too attached because sometimes bad things happen in games like this um, so yeah that kind of leads me to my next point is uh, this game is time consuming and uh, bad things do happen uh, you can spend a lot of time on this game and basically forget to put a shield on, accidentally put a two hour instead of an eight hour, and you come back and your city's been attacked for six hours straight. Um, it kind of sucks knowing that that can happen. There's things you can do to mitigate the damage, of course. Um, you have a hospital, so usually you always have at least one uh, fleet of troops so that you can go attack and gather and stuff, but uh, yeah, there's going to be some people that try to zero you, maybe people will just, you know, hunt you <laughs> if you piss them off, uh, people are going to send you hate mail, you're going to be attacking people, you're going to be making people quit, uh, people are going to be making you want to quit, so there's some dread that goes along with that. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's no fun to spend a lot of time in this game and then have your city get attacked and all your resources stolen and most of your troops killed. Um, we can lessen that dread, but still, you do spend a lot of time on this game, and it's no fun. So, um, 
the amount of time you spend can vary. Um, if you look at my optimal day video, then you, you can spend maybe 30 minutes a day and complete everything that the game has to offer. Probably less than 30 minutes if you're really efficient about it. Or you can spend hours and hours just, just scouting and attacking cities and uh, chit-chatting with everybody, making alliances, uh, unions. So it's really what you put into it, you get out of it. Um, I will say that if you can attack smartly, then the more you put into the game, the more you should grow. Yeah, you'll be losing some troops, but you'll be getting resources way faster than everyone else, so you can recruit and build at all times. It's kind of like a, as you start building, you need to keep building and keep playing though. Because once you start going, you kind of want to stay ahead, get ahead and stay ahead. Um, you'll see as you look through all the rewards in this game, they're all tiered, so whoever gets first place gets a, you know, 30% bigger reward than who gets second place, and they get 30% bigger than the next person. So if you can be the top player, it kind of structures it so that you'll stay the top player. So you want to be the top player. Um, and... The, the more time you put into the game, uh, the easier it is to stay on top. Unless you're spending a lot of money, which um, a lot of people do spend a lot of money. And I say that you should spend some money. There's a couple good packs right when you join the game that are kind of like your, uh, I guess they call it a growth fund. Um, as you gain city levels, you get bonuses. It really is, like, if you're going to spend money, that's probably the most efficient thing to do. I mean, I think you can spend, like, $15 and get all of the uh, packs that kind of grow with you. Um, there's a monthly card that's uh, valuable, so if, if nothing else, get the monthly card. And then there's a couple events that they do, like, once a month. Um... It's called Road of Legends. I think you can spend about $8 and get all the expanded rewards. Uh, that's also a really good one. So if you're doing the monthly card and the Road of Legends, then you're looking at about $30 a month. Um, and that's about average, I would say. Uh, then you can also buy as many packs as you want. You could probably spend hundreds of dollars a day on this game if you wanted to, and people do, um, but that's not really what you want to do. There's uh, better ways to buy. Obviously, if you spend more money, you get more powerful quicker, but you can also take the same amount of money and spend it over a longer period of time, and you'll get to the same place for a lot less money. Um, Although, like I said, this game is about getting ahead and staying ahead, so you do get that bonus for getting there quick. Um, so, the people that do spend a lot of money, though, um, usually they know what they're doing. I've seen a lot of people that spend a lot of money that don't know what they're doing, so... Uh, don't just think that because you see an alliance with one super player that they're going to be the most dominant alliance or anything. Um, the one thing that I've found is don't try to chase the uh, big players because uh, sometimes they're malicious people or jerks or, you know, don't have the social skills. I don't know. I'm a social player, so I like to chit-chat with my alliance and teach people and help people out. So when I'm going for an alliance, I go for who are the people that I, you know, am I going to make the best friends with? Um, if you just log on and collect your resources and attack some monsters, it's kind of boring. It's more fun when you can chit-chat and say hello to your friends and joke around. So. Uh, that's kind of what I think makes the game the game, is the social aspect to it. Uh, you meet people from all over the world, you see all these different types of lifestyles, you get different opinions. I mean, your alliance will get a hundred people in it, so you're going to be just interacting with so many people, 
and then there will be multiple alliances. So if you get on nation chat, you can potentially talk to hundreds of people and not everybody's as social. A lot of people never get on nation chat, but um, you will, you know, be talking to a lot of people. It is a team game. It's structured to be a team game. So, uh, you know, ex expect to make some friendships as you go along the way. Um, which is good because the game changes as you play. So there's kind of a whole aspect of the beginning versus the end game. At the beginning, you're doing a lot of things, everything's new, you're really rushing. Um, towards the end game, it's all about these little percentages and, uh, you know, making sure you get your daily rewards quest every day and uh, applying your officers when you do recruitments and buildings and researches. So, um, it's definitely uh, less <laughs> exciting at the end game. I think they structure it this way so that you go start a new account and spend more money because it's more fun. Um, it's it's also just different at the end game. Uh, at the beginning, it's uh, there's that kind of dread of am I gonna get zeroed if if I forget a shield? Is a bunch of people just gonna gang up on me? Um, at the end, hopefully your world's calmed down, you have good politics, you have good leaders, nobody's uh, really attacking each other, you're, you know, you're fighting your void wars, so your nation's fighting another nation, and hopefully your nations come together and agreed on some things, but sometimes that doesn't happen, and you're fighting other worlds and you're still in fighting. That's unfortunate because then you're still living in fear all the time and can't grow as well. Um, so yeah, at the end, you're really just building and fighting these void wars, which is a 24 hour war every other Sunday. Um, it's fun, but you do kind of lose that day to day of hunting people and, you know, fighting with your friends, so, I mean, you might go a few days with, you're only attacking the monsters in the map and you're not really attacking cities, and it's not that big of a deal, but you will run out of the big battles that are fun at the beginning, um, so, so, like I said, you have a lot of different players, some people like the end game better, some people like the beginning better. Uh, you can tell that I play the game for the excitement, so, as the game does get uh, going, I think it gets less fun. Uh, I'm probably the average player, but uh, the average player will probably play more than one world. Um, which I don't recommend doing as you start because of the time commitment, but um, I do recommend again starting one city, kind of seeing how the game works, seeing if you want to play, if you like the uh, time commitment, if you're okay with uh, whatever, you might not like the, some of the alliances of the players in your world, or maybe you find out you're, you know, you're a German player and you log into one world and there's hardly any German people, so go start another world. Maybe you'll find a bunch of people who speak German, so, um, of course, if you're listening to my video, you're probably English, so try to find a world with a bunch of English-speaking people. Um, so yeah, I, I love this game, I spent a lot of time on it, but this game is not for everybody. If you can't make it on Sundays, if you have trouble with time commitments, if you struggle with money, if you get really invested in things, kind of an addiction problem, maybe this game's not for you. If you have a lot of downtime in your day, and you're looking for a little time killer, looking for a base builder, you like playing some tower defense, uh, you enjoy war games, you like strategy, you like working with your teammates, then this game is for you. Um, I really like it. I think once you get started, uh, it might be a little frustrating, but once you get into a nice niche and make some good friends, I think everybody would like this game.
So yeah, thanks for listening to my long rant. Um, I don't mean to be depressing and make people not play this game because I think it's great. I just want to give a fair warning that uh, a lot of the advertising is not you know, what you think this game is. So I wanted to give a fair representation of what you're getting into and uh, you know, what to be expected out of it. So create an account, you know, make some mistakes, uh, get the jitters out, make another account, and go dominate your world, all right? All right, everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.